I say I read the story, and then we'll play one more game. All right, let's do that. Let's do that. Ooh, somebody's stuck. <laughs> Holy shish kebab. I thought it was Lady Bree. I was about to jump into the internet and show her who's boss. I was. All right. The last and final chapter of the Meeps series comes down to chapter three, the Meeps and his unfortunate weakness. Damn it, I see an ad coming on. All right, this is the final story. Usually I don't read this many stories, right? We never do. It's always like, unless somebody uh, uses their points to, to get me to read a story. But I wrote these three stories last night and I had to get them out. But I'm gonna write more. It was, it was, it was, you know. <clears throat> All right, you guys ready? Here we go. <sighs> the Meeps and his unfortunate weakness. Let me hold this up. Let me hold it up. That way I look, I look more professional. Uh, are you ready? Are you ready? S sneak, sneak, -o, sneak, sneak. Sneak Olai. Sneak Olai. Can't even get it out, but I got it out. All right, here we go. The Meeps and his unfortunate weakness. In the most remote corner of the Harrowick Woods, shrouded in perpetual gloom. A lot of big words, you know? Shrouded in perpetual gloom and veiled by legends lived a creature known as the Meeps. His appearance was terrifying. Dark fur matted with the debris of the forest eyes a chilling amethyst and claws capable of cleaving the stoutest of oaks. But deep within his twisted form lay a heart that against all odds yearned for something beyond the inescurable solitude of his existence. The Meep's heart began to beat not out of hunger, but out of longing when he first saw Kaya, got it right, I got it right, Kaya, with her vivid red hair cascading down her shoulders like a fiery waterfall, Kaya wandered into Harrowick Woods seeking solace from the world of people. A world where she never felt quite at home. Unbeknownst to Kaya, she entered the realm of the Meeps and her presence was like a beacon to his lonely spirit. Each eve, Kaya would sit by the brook that whispered through the forest, humming melancholy, melanc mel Bree, help me out, melanc melancholy, melan melancholy tunes and sketching the scenery onto her canvas. The haunting melodies captivated the Meeps drawing him nearer each time until he was but a shadow in her perhaphrases. Perhaphrases. Melancholy. Thank you. I appreciate it. Melancholy. Um, perhaphrases. 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 Careful not to disturb the peace she had found in his dominion. And there he would watch his monstrous visage soften in the presence of her beauty and grace. One twilight under the silver sickle moon, calamity struck. Hunters armed with rifles and the hubrid of man ventured into Harrowick woods in search of a fabled beast. They had fear, they had heard tales of. The Meeps, who had never known the sting of human cruelty firsthand and ill prepared for their intrusion. The echoes of gunshot shattered the forest silence. The Meeps was struck, but not morally, but enough to send him bellowing in pain into the underbrush. Even wounded, he thought not of himself, but of Kaya. And the terror of gunshots might stir in her heart. Kaya 
heard the commotion and against her better judgment, chased the cacophony, cacophony deeper into the forest embrace. It was there within a grove that moonlight seemed to cradle. She found the meeps, his eyes showing a glint of vulnerability she only ever encountered in her reflection. Ignoring the beast, fearsome exterior and driven by a strange pull, she did not understand. Kaya approached him. I would not let them hurt you, she vowed. Her voice of solemn whisper against the night. Cacophony, something like that. But the hunters were relentless and fate forever fickle allow them to track down the hulking figure of the Meeps. Surrounded and with cruelty born of fear, the hunters resolved to end the threat that the threat the Meep posed. In an act of bizarre imagination, one hunter produced a bottle of pineapple juice. A supposed old remedy for rabid beasts. With a jur, with a jur, J E E R, with a jur and a toast uh, to his companions, the hunter forced the acidic liquid into the creature's majestic amethyst eyes. The meeps <clears throat> screeched in agony as the pulp and the juice seared through him, blinding and immobilizing him in excruciating torment. Kaya wept, or wept, the tears slipping down to mingle with the bloodstained leaves, her heart shattering as the meeps collapsed under the burning pain and the ruthlessness of man. They killed him with pineapple juice. Her heart shattering as the Meeps collapsed, I read that. In his final moments, the Meeps reached out with his bloodied paw, a paw, towards Kaya, gentle and trembling, trembling. She thought, hold, she took hold of it. Her touch, a solitary comfort in his last breaths, breaths. And as his heart slowed to a stop, he found peace in the knowledge that he had not died alone, that he has seen, known, and loved. I read that wrong. He fought, he fought peace in the knowledge that he had not died alone, that he, that he was seen, known, and loved. I don't know, it's the song writes to me. The hunters left, convinced they had rid the world of a monster, yet in truth, a different kind of darkness crept into Harrowick Woods, one of sorrow and lost love. Kaya mourned the Meeps, her guardian and unexpected paramour, in a tale that would henceforth haunt the echoing trees of the woods, a love not just lost, but one that had reached across the chasms of fear, bridged the span of world, worlds apart and tendered a light in the stifling dark. Sounds weird. Only for it to be quenched by the blindness of those who could not see the beauty in the oddity of their love. Pineapple juice. <laughs> The end. <laughs> Damn, they said I suck.
That was fun. Pineapple. So he died because of the pineapple juice, not because he got shot. It was the pineapple juice that did it. That was his, that was like the, the, you know what I'm saying? That's what killed him. So if you guys ever have any ideas, you could send them my way, any way you want. You could you could tweet them out to me. You could uh, DM. You could slide into my DMs. You know, nobody does that. But if you want to slide into them, then go for it. And if you have any ideas of a story uh, that you would like to for me to create and read, then then hit me up. Because I'm trying to learn. I'm I, I okay. I know how to read. But I haven't read it so long that I feel like I've been getting dumb and I, I need to read. So that's why it doesn't sound great when I read shit. A lot of words, I don't know what I'm saying. But um, but I go for it because it's like, I'm just trying, you know, I'm having a good time. It's having, it's having fun. Okay. Thanks for watching, dudes. For our newest video, click here.